Hi, my name is Catherine and I talk about reducing waste by making instead of buying and in today's video I'm going to do some meal prep. It's almost 7 p.m. and I'm doing this late but I'm going to be making meal prep anyway so um, I meal prep for the week. It's my way to spend less time in the kitchen and still eat delicious food plus I'm also able to reduce my food waste because I use it up instead of letting it stay in the fridge for a long time and forgetting that it's there. So for today I'm going to be making some bean curry. I already put the beans to cook. Um, I should have put them um, for a while now but I didn't so they are just now starting to simmer it's going to take some time <laughs> and for the other dish I'm going to make some pork chops roasted with some potatoes and sweet potatoes so I, I think that I say this fairly often which is I'm going to keep it simple and yes that's it ah, and I'm also going to make soup because the bean curry will have some spinach and I want to use up the spinach stalks in some way so I'm going to make soup out of them. So let's go ahead and start because it's 7 p.m. and it will take some time so start the clock. I started by peeling the huge sweet potato and cutting it into pieces. I did larger pieces because I didn't feel like adding the two types of potatoes at different times. So regular potatoes were cut smaller and sweet potatoes were cut larger. Yes, I'm lazy. Then I added my homemade sweet pepper paste to the dish. It's my go-to whenever I don't want to mess around with spices too much. And it honestly has such a great flavor that you can do these with every roast that you do. And I also added some garlic and some thyme and bay leaf as well. This time I don't always do this because I don't have beer at home but this time I added one beer and used it to clean up the last bit of paste from the jar. You can add less beer by the way but perhaps half but I was happy with the final result. Now on to take care of the spinach. I removed the leaves from the stems and put the stems in and leaves into separate bowls. The spinach leaves will be used for the bean curry and the stems for the soup. I cut the stems and by the way I remove all the bad bits from the stems. These don't go to the soup which means that everything that looks bad, uh, bad color or it feels rotten, it doesn't go to the soup. Um, I think it's very important to reduce food waste but you should also take care of yourself so don't eat things just because you don't want to waste them. My mom also gave me two chayotes that have seen better days and I'm adding those to the soup as well. Um, sometimes when my mom doesn't, doesn't have time to use something she will give them to me because she knows that I will try to use it and that's just one example of that happening. 
I'm also adding one carrot to give some sweetness to the soup because there are a lot of bitter elements like not bitter but a little stronger elements I guess I'm going to use the onion skins to make broth for the quinoa it's not the most flavorful broth ever but it does give a nice touch and it's a way for me to use what I have instead of letting it go to waste. I'm also chopping a few garlic cloves to add later to the bean curry. Once the onion skins have boiled for a while, it's time to take them from the pan and add the quinoa. So it's really a lazy, lazy, lazy vegetable broth <laughs> I don't think that you can even call it vegetable broth but I will call it vegetable broth <laughs> so taking the beans from the pan and putting in a bowl because I want to use this pan to saute my onions and then the garlic I never did this reuse pans and that sort of stuff I know that it's bad to admit it but I didn't because my mom had a dishwasher and I was not used to having to worry about the amount of pans that I used but now I try to have the least amount of dishes that I can and I still I've still not 100% got it but I try I also add some tomato paste and then garam masala to the pan which will be the base for this curry and I also add gochujang because I love that stuff and I don't have any sort any other sort of spiciness at this moment in my home then I add back the beans so they can continue to cook with all the flavor from the garam masala. I also add some lemon juice to brighten up the dish and coconut milk for creaminess. So after a while the pork chops were ready, but I felt that the potatoes could be drier. So I went to eat dinner just how it, the potatoes were, but I put them back in the oven with the oven turned off but still warm and that I let it cook while we were eating dinner and watching a TV show. So once back from dinner, I added the spinach leaves and let them cook whilst I went ahead and blended the soup. As always, I store the soup in jars as I find it easier to use throughout the week this way. A blender and blender is such a nice tool to have if you want to eat a little bit healthier during the winter because soups just keep you warm and I personally enjoy more eating soup during the winter than during summer. I also portioned the pork chops into separate containers. As you can see, there was not enough potatoes for all the pork chops, but that's okay. It's easy to take care of a quick side during the week. For me, it's not about doing everything perfectly, but at least having more meals so I don't have to think about what to eat for dinner during the week.
Now onto the bean curry, which is ready. I'm putting everything into their containers. As you can see, this week I have lots of food. That's great, less time spent in the kitchen. <laughs> Since so much bean curry was left, I felt like eating quinoa all week would be repetitive and I decided to put some curry without a side to make pasta and use it as a side. It's a way to change up a bit what we eat without a lot of effort and if you sometimes feel the need to have something a little bit different, perhaps that can be an option for you. Personally for me it's nice to have some pasta if I'm eating rice all week and it's pretty quick to make pasta and it doesn't take me a lot of time it's not like I can I can't uh, do that at this moment I can and yeah that's about it <laughs> this is just to say that you can do meal prep your way it doesn't have to be exactly like I do here I just do what works for me and don't feel bad about the right way to meal prep there is no right way meal prep is to help you not to give you anxiety so it's 10 p.m but don't worry <laughs> i actually watched a tv show while we were having dinner so i just finished everything up and my boyfriend was also washing the dishes because while <laughs> i'm always cooking and you always see me meal prepping it comes with a lot of dishes to wash and we don't own a dishwasher and I hope that this video has inspired you I really like doing these videos because it's a way for me to also be accountable in meal prep because this year I want to focus on other stuff and meal prepping just allows me to not worry for a while about what we are going to eat for dinner <laughs> and that's it for today thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section if there's anything that you'd like me to see meal prepping i'll be up for the challenge i've been experimenting new recipes so i'll be good to experiment your suggestion as well i'll see you in the next one bye